Hello, kids. What a wacky Wednesday. Let's enter Steve's museum. Hey, look. There's a tricycle we had as kids. The red wagon we had as kids in the 70s, I think. Knocked my sister's tooth out. Pushing out of that or pulling her around or something. <laughs> Fun times. Yeah, this is my extra room with all my stuff. Unopened McDonald's toys. There's Monopoly. There's a bunch of my Christmas ornaments. Star Wars glasses, ornaments, gold Calican Jr. cards. Unopened Angry Bird Star Wars. Hey, look, autograph Mark Chamara. Pez dispensers. <laughs> Mugs, talking Brett Favre. Autographed Eric Dickerson jersey, Hall of Fame. More stuff. I know you've seen some, if not most, of this all before. But there's a lot of new stuff in here, like that thing. And just some stuff I thought I would like to show you. Look at this, I think. Yep, that is a pin. Bosque. Dengar, bat. Over here, a lot of Star Wars. Original is still in the box. <laughs> All the fun stuff. Darth Tater, you know, can't go wrong with that. From Mexico, when I was... Shit, what would I have been? I went in 85, so probably 14 years old. Bought that in Mexico City. Some of the 90s figures, but that's original. More of the 90s stuff. Yeah. Just a lot of Star Wars. And of course, my guy, Boba Fett. The unopened music. What is this? <laughs> Grogu hand wipes. You know, we'll come over here. We have a Star Wars Empire Strikes Back, the art of. We have a Happy Bunky. We have the with his weapon, the Scout Biker from the one and only Bud Stoney, my monkey beanie baby. Here's some stuff. I made that once my buddy committed suicide, unfortunately. Unopened beers. We have Cheesehead beer. We have a couple by Iron Maiden. We have Mash beer. Yay, Mash. We have the Havana Banana. And, of course, there he is himself. <laughs> Got the Hulk. Hulk smash, Hulk smash that like. You know, have to have a action figure, George W. The figure's more intelligent than he was. There's a mash vodka dispenser. Look at all this cool stuff. Got an old bank that still works. More mash beer unopened. Pez Dispenser from Origami Folder from the Baseball Hall of Fame. More beer. I got a Roberto Clemente beer. Got JFK from the one and only Bud Stoney. More stuff. All kinds of stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. See, my Gilligan's Island bath toys. One only Bud Stoney made a one of one set of darts. My first Christmas and Norman Rockwell. These here are just all my games. Love to play games whenever I get that hair stuck up someone's bunghole. Hey! My bobblehead collection. Look at that. One of my favorites. Bob Euchre in his Harley jacket. 
Nice. We got Satchel Page back there. We got a trifecta of Brett Favre, high school, college Packers for Redbeard Breaks. Look at this. We got Elvis. We got Joker. Yes, we even have Phil Hellmuth from Madison, Wisconsin. And he's a dick. Another one of my favorites. You won't see this one all over the place. We have a Bobble Brat. Couple from Hooters, couple Osbournes, the Michelin Man, and Count Chocula. Some interesting different bobblehead type deals. And there's another satchel page. We have Dwight Howard back there. We got some hockey. This one here is a really cool one. I love that. There's Buck O'Neill, Len Dawson, Peyton Manning's back there. Now let's get into some of the unopened ones. This one here is actual hot sauce bottle. Full of hot sauce. And I'm all over fat. There's a Gorn. And down here we have even more. <laughs> Bunch from the Mallards, that's a minor league team in Madison, Wisconsin. We've got Paul Molder. Nice, nice, nice ones. Oh yeah, here's what's in the Red Wagon. Fisher Price and a train cover. This was mine when I was like three or four years old. It is a basketball hoop. You may remember it from... So my brother's take over Tuesday home videos from probably a year ago. One of my train cars. Some more unopened toys. Now let's get into my Legos. These are unopened Legos. Look at this. Bags and bags that I've collected through the years. We have the NBA ones. We have the very... Rare and hard to find, so I've made a set of the McDonald's Legos, Star Wars, <laughs> Easter, you name it, Lone Ranger Legos. I do have the unopened Yellow Submarine of Legos, a, another rare McDonald's one. We'll get into a lot of Star Wars Legos. A lot of Star Wars Legos. Oh, yeah, there's a General Mills Spider-Man advertisement. A lot more unopened Legos. These are 100% unopened. That's just a carrying case, but it's unopened. A lot more Legos that are unopened. I have... Hundreds upon hundreds of sets of Legos unopened. That is very expensive. That they gave out when they first opened the Lego store here in Overland Park. That had to be eight, ten years ago now. And you had to be invited if you're a VIP member. And you had to spend so much money and you get that. That is a replica of a standalone Lego store. Look it up on eBay. And there's the info about it. Go ahead and look. That's set up on eBay. Look, it's Harley Barbie. We have Yoda. We have a 1965 set of Legos. On some of my other shelves around the house. There's a three men in a tub in the box. There's an old set of Legos from the 70s unopened. I've got around the house like an unopened set of Legos from Pepsi, which is very rare. <laughs> got a Lego flag. Lego, Lego. <laughs> and pardon the mess in here. There is tens of thousands of Legos put in buckets by color in here that are opened. There are sets of Legos, I don't even have room to display, of 
ones that I have made. And there are unopened boxes and more poly bags of Legos in here. I don't have room for. I'm a Lego nerd and I'm a hoarder. My name is Steve. Deal with it. Hey guys, thank you for joining me for another trip through my man museum. This has been What's Up Wednesday. Your pal Steve coming at you. Don't even know if you can see this. I can't. And hey, peace out.